My name is Jim Diamond. I'm involved with my studio, Ghetto Recorders. I own a recording studio in Detroit and produce records. I was always a musician, so it was a natural progression where I started to say, well, why don't you do it this way, or trying to influence how the music was being made. I started working professionally in the studio in 1989. Well, I think the industry has changed a lot because of the advent of all the home recording technology. You could get an 8-track, half-inch reel-to-reel, and it was like $8,000. Now people can just do it on their computers, and you can record a record at home for with an investment of under $1,000. Well, the way I record here, usually it's a hybrid at this point. What I'll do is record everything on tape, and then I'll bounce it into the computer and then do the mixing from there. The first two records were on tape and I do really love the sound of it. I mean, you can tell it just has a, just has a warmth to it. Every time you hit the tape with a signal, you're magnetizing particles of iron. And depending on how hard you hit it, you can change the sound. You add some uh, natural compression, you add some natural distortion that's not there in a in a digital recording. One of my strong points is getting that kind of live sound. And that's why I track as much stuff as possible when they're playing all together as a group. I was actually just talking to another band. They are like, you know, we're a garage band. We don't want to sound too good. Like, he can do that, you know. He really is, like, versatile, and he understands and he listens. But, like, if something doesn't sound good, he'll tell you. You know, I'm pretty no frills. I'm not one of those guys who's going to go, all right, well, this is what we need to have a hit. I want to make the band sound like the band, but in the best possible situation. I will, yeah, I will get a great, you know, live, you know, energetic performance out of you. And that's, I think, the most important thing, that sound like you, but sound, you know, plus, like you plus. I want to make it feel like you're in your own rehearsal space. You always say, oh, I don't feel like I'm at the dentist's. Yes, exactly. You know, that's why I like to have all these amps around and a million instruments around so people feel comfortable and they can, oh, can we try that? Can we try that? Obviously, I don't like a sterile environment. I personally don't like to go to the studio, but I like coming over here. You know, it's like you come in, Jim's like one of the funniest people you're ever going to meet. You have a good time. And it's like, you know, you can do whatever you want here and you can be relaxed. I feel like I'm at home, man. The most important thing is to have the musicians feel comfortable and then I think you'll get the best performance. I guess that would be my philosophy. 